were criticized in hindsight by many, including by President Clinton, for some positions that you took uh, at the Treasury and that they said contributed to the financial crisis in 2008. How do you handle criticism like that, and were they right? Well, President Clinton didn't actually. What he said was something to the effect that Glass Steagall had nothing to do with the crisis, which is true. Glass Steagall had been de facto uh, eliminated as a, as a constraint on banks by the the interpretations of the Fed. He said on a national television program that we had advised him, given him some advice with respect to derivatives. He later realized after he'd gotten off the program that he was wrong. <laughs> and uh, I don't know if he ever said publicly that he was wrong or not. I don't know. But I do know from his own people that he realized afterwards that it wasn't us who had given him the advice with somebody else. Mm -hmm. So how do you handle hindsight criticism like that? And, and do you take it to heart? Do you think about what, like, decisions you made in the past? Well, listen, you're always, we, were, we were criticized when I was there at Treasury about all kinds of decisions we made. And all that you can do, I think, is look back on those decisions and see whether you think you made the right decisions or in, in light of the facts of the time, not in light of hindsight, obviously. And then try to learn from your experience. And, and when I was at Treasury, we were criticized over all kinds of things that we did. But I do think you have to have some kind of a perspective mm -hmm. <laughs> that enables you to put that in context and, 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 or, in, or in perspective. So mm -hmm. I, I think it was an existential kind of view, but that's maybe a unduly fancy way of referring to it.